So when I asked, you all wanted to know about other important dreams that I've had. They don't really fall into a specific category of past life or alien or anything like that. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. If this interests you, stick around and let's get into it. Hi, I'm Veronica. Welcome back to The Wholeness Shift. If this is your first time here, welcome. I teach people about easy, practical spirituality and intentional living and help you navigate your spiritual awakening. We talk about all kinds of cool stuff like the law of attraction, aliens, past lives, all of it. So if this is the kind of thing that interests you, hit the subscribe button below. I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything good. So today, like I said, we're going to be talking about other important dreams. Actually, just one dream today, but um, it doesn't really fall into the category of past lives or aliens or any of the things that I've talked about before. And in case you haven't seen them, I have an entire series that I've done on dreams. You all really love hearing about them, and so I will share them as long as you want to hear about them. So um, there is a playlist on my channel if you want to check that out. Today I want to talk about an important dream that I had that really did shift my entire perspective and understanding of incarnations and lifetimes and God and the universe, just all of it. And as is typical with dreams, your guides will give you these dreams, but your your subconscious works in symbology and um it's not always just a straightforward message. They don't sit you down and look you in the eye and go, look, this is what we're talking about today. They give you situations and experiences to help you learn these lessons or to get the message. So in this one particular dream, it started with, I don't know where I was. It was kind of like a resort or somewhere like we had been on a family vacation or something and we were leaving. And we were walking towards the front gate of this place. There was a large group of us. I didn't recognize anyone. I mean, I know Spomi was there, but as far as like faces and stuff, I didn't recognize any of these people. But it was clear that they were people that I just loved and adored. And they loved and adored me. It was just happy and peaceful and loving. And I was having the best time with them. And we were walking towards this front gate and everybody was going their separate ways. And we were saying goodbye for the time being. But there was no sadness, there was no um, reluctance or resistance. Imagine that you're on a family vacation and you've all met for breakfast, you're all having your fruit plates and your pancakes or whatever, is it, whatever it is that you're having, and then everybody's sharing what their plans are for the day. And like your parents or your aunt, uncle, whoever it is, they're just like, we're going on this hike. You want to come with us? And you're like, oh, that sounds so cool. But no, I'm going to do rock climbing today. And maybe your siblings are like, we're zip lining. And everybody's like, oh, that's cool. Okay, well, let's meet up here for lunch. And you all go your separate ways. There's no crying or grieving or, oh, I'm going to miss you. Don't go. There's none of that. It's just cool. Have a good time. That's awesome. I'll see you in a little bit. That's the exact precise energy that this was. It was clear that I was leaving, I was going somewhere, and the meaning behind it was that I was going to be incarnating somewhere. I was coming to incarnate into a lifetime on earth. And my spirit family, my heavenly family, they were just there and wishing me well. They're like, we'll see you in a little bit. Have a great time. And I left. They left, I left, we parted ways. And I began climbing this massive stone staircase. And there were other people. It was a very wide staircase. It kind of reminded me of like the Mayan ruins or something. I mean, I couldn't see a whole pyramid. It was just a staircase. But that's what it reminded me of. It was like this wide stone staircase. And we were climbing it. And it was kind of steep. You kind of had to climb it like a ladder. And so I started out just gung-ho. I'm climbing, 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 and I'm looking at the people next to me, and I'm kind of competing like I can go faster than that. And, um, and then it started to, I started to get tired, and I was having this period where I just went a little slower. And in my mind, 
I was thinking, I got to pick this up. I got to speed it up. I've got a lot to accomplish. I have a lot to do. I need to get on the ball. I'm not doing good enough. And the whole time I could hear my guides kind of over here in the sky, <laughs> like the eyes in the sky. I could hear their commentary. They were talking to each other about me and they just, it kind of reminded me of the Muppet show. Have you ever seen the Muppet show where the two judges were sitting up in the balcony and they had commentary on everything going on on the stage? That is so what it reminded me of. And they weren't mean or rude or <laughs> anything like that. They could be funny. They have senses of humor um, and their sense of humor tends to match mine no surprise. Um, and I can be sarcastic. So um, they kind of match me. But anyways, the whole time I'm climbing, I can hear their commentary. And so I'm climbing, I'm being hard on myself about not doing a good enough job. I can hear them making little commentary about, doesn't she know that nobody's judging her? This, she's the only one making these rules. And I got this clear cognizant knowing about all of this. I received this knowing that there is absolutely no one that's judging me. I am the only one creating this competition for myself or the rules or guidelines for myself. This is purely however I want it to look. But I kept going. And it got to the point where this staircase was almost going backwards. I almost had to be like Spider-Man climbing on the ceiling. And I was afraid I was going to fall backwards. And I could hear my guides going, <laughs> I'm going to love to see how this turns out. I'm, I'm, I love to see how she thinks she's going to do this. And I, could, I got another knowing about how sometimes we put ourselves in situations that we never planned to be in. This wasn't part of our plan. And we're pushing ourselves too hard. We're judging ourselves too hard. We're doing something that was never meant for us to be done. And then we're judging ourselves when we don't do great at it. Do you understand what I'm saying? And so I finally sat down on the stairs and I had decided, I think that's enough. I'm satisfied with this. I think I've done well. I think I did really good and nobody's judging me anyways. I, this is all my idea and my creation. And I think I've done enough. I think I'm satisfied with this particular journey I've created. And then it was time to be done. And so that was a, of, of course it was symbolic it wasn't literal. It was symbolic of a lifetime and of an incarnation. But it really gave me an understanding on a soul level, deep down inside, of how I don't have to be so hard on myself because there's nobody judging me. There, I don't care what you say, you're not going to convince me. There's no man with a beard sitting on a throne in the sky who was going to judge me and then torment me if I wasn't up to snuff. There's no judgment. They may let you review this life and let you find areas where you could have chosen love more, but nobody's going to judge you and tell you you didn't do enough. And if you want to do something different or better or more, you come back and do more. But it's all up to you. So don't be so hard on yourself. This life is like your painting. It's like your creation. You are in charge of the palette and the theme. And you are in charge of exactly what you're painting. So just roll with it. Do what feels good. Do what feels right. Because when you're in the flow and you're, you're following your plan and your intuition and you are in the flow with what's in alignment with you and your soul and your vibrations, it's going to feel good. So just follow the flow. All right, you guys, I'd love to know your thoughts. If you haven't done it yet, hit the subscribe button below. 
Let me know if you've ever had any cool dreams like this. I would love to hear them. All right, until next time.